Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. So somebody from Woe Sports reached out to me and offered to send me a trail camera to test out. They've seen some of my other trail camera reviews and wanted me to do a review on their trail camera as well. So this is the Woe Sports G600. I'll put a link in the description for this camera as well if you're interested in it. So this is a 30 megapixel 1920p monitoring and they call it a home security camera it looks like. I'll open it up and give you some more details on it. So we'll go ahead and unbox it here. You have the trail camera. It's pretty slick looking. I do like how uh, this opens up only at the bottom. It does have a screen. It's got an okay, a mode, eject, on, off, aim, which I assume is kind of like a setup switch so that you can actually point, hang it up and see where it's going. Having this setup honestly is super nice. I have a couple cameras like this. The new Tacticams are like this as well, where you don't have to try and open the whole case up and then you can't see where your camera is pointing. So this is an awesome feature. Let's see what else it comes with. So it comes with a mount for a tree or something like that. Oh, awesome. It comes with a memory card. I have grabbed uh, my own memory card. I'll set that aside. It looks like it comes with a 32 gigabyte normal size SD memory card. So that's cool. It comes with your typical strap. Honestly, not a big fan of this type of strap. It's not a clip or clamp. You kind of have to tighten it down yourself, but not really a deal killer there either. Again, this is part of your mount. I'm not gonna use that anyway, so I'm gonna set that aside. And it comes with your manual. So like most cameras here, you've got your uh, PIR sensors here on the side. And then up here is your camera lens. This is your indication LED. And then this is also a sensor right here. And here on the sides is your infrared LEDs. And then it does have, when you open it up, your screen, some up and down arrows, an okay button, a M button, which I assume is menu or mode, a battery release. So we'll go ahead and pop that out. I really like this style. A lot of the cameras are starting to go this route where uh, the batteries just slide in at the bottom. Pretty convenient. It looks like it's eight AA batteries, which I've got right here. It also has a port that you can charge, uh, let's see, 12 volt DC. So if you want to put a solar panel on this, you can do that as well. Um, it has a mounting threaded portion here at the bottom. So if you want to mount it on a T-post or something like that with the mount, it has that ability. It does have a way to lock the box here. Again, I mean, this is plastic. So if somebody really wants to get into it, they can break it. Not a big deal if you're on your own property though. Let's see, so the SD card looks like it goes in the side here. We'll see how easy it is to put in and out. I know some of the old cameras I have kind of have a, it's a weird or a tough location to get them out sometimes. So we'll test that out as well. Well, we'll go ahead and put the batteries in and put the SD card in and start setting it up. All right, so we'll go ahead and install the batteries here at the bottom and turn it to, I guess, aim. It says memory card missing. So let's go ahead and get this memory card installed. So that was pretty easy to install. I'm gonna move the camera so y'all can see the screen now and we'll start looking through all of the settings and walk through some of the features that this specific camera has. And at the end of the video, I will show some pictures. I will set this up in my backyard so I can get some daytime, nighttime pictures. You can see me walking across it. I'll let my dog walk in front of it. I'll do a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna let it run over the weekend. That way I can test out the battery. I can test out how well it picks things up. So I'm gonna try and hold the camera because my mount actually broke. So we'll just go through the settings here. So this is similar to your typical setup like I talked through. You've got your arrow buttons up here. 
your mode button, okay, eject for your batteries, on, off, and in the middle, it's shown as aim or the setup mode. So we'll go ahead and start scrolling through uh, these as well. So we'll click menu, go to mode, it has photo, video, or photo plus video. I really like just doing video these days. Um, so I'll keep it on video. I'll go ahead and set the photo resolution, but it has 5, 8, 16, and 30. So we'll oh, so can scroll down, set to 30. Uh, if I do do photos, I like to do, you know, two in series usually. And then we'll update the video resolution. I want that to be 1920 by 1080. Uh, video length. Um, I usually like 15 seconds. It has a 10 and a 20. We'll just stick with 10. Audio recording on shot lag. So this is the delay between videos. We'll go to 10 seconds there. Side motion sensors. I'm going to keep those on for now. Depending where I put it, I may shut them off. Sensor level. We'll just stick with middle. Not sure what target recording time is. Let's see. It says when it's on the camera it would always work with the active time you set up. If it's off, it means you shut down the function. So I think this is so you can set up a schedule or something like that. I don't want to do that. I don't want a time lapse, but that is kind of a cool option to have. Looks like you can set up your language here. So I'll keep it on English. Time and date. So let's see. We'll set that. It is 2022, April 5th. And it is, oops, I'm gonna go ahead and set the time format. I want it to be 12 hours. Date format, I want it to be month, day, year. Now I'll go back up to here. It is five, well, let's see if I have to. So you do have to set it in 24 hour format. So it is 17. Eight, click OK, and then you may need to go back. All right, so I set that. Photo stamp, I like to have both the time and date on my photo stamp. I'm not gonna put a password on it. I will go ahead and format the memory card. It is, it is a brand new memory card. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm already with the serial number. You can reset settings. You can look at the version, software update. So honestly, that's all the features. It's pretty standard. Oh, here's the technical spec. So the trigger speed says it's 0.2 seconds. Camera lens is 120 degrees. It says it has a 90 foot flash range for the IR flash. It can detect up to 80 feet. Battery life, it says up to 15 months. I'm sure that depends on how many pictures you're taking in all your settings. Really, that's kind of the bulk of the major settings. So when you're in the aim mode, you can test the motion sensors. So when you hit this sensor, you see the light over here light up blue. When you hit the top sensor, looks like it does red. And then the side sensor over here is blue. So it tells you kind of, you can get an idea of your detection range. So I'm waving my hand out here and it's able to pick that up. One thing it says about mounting, it says to place the camera at a height of about three and a half to four and a half feet and make sure it's about 10 to 30 feet away from what you want to be monitored. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up outside and I will follow up with the clips I guess I will set some pictures as well so y'all can see some still images, but I'll show y'all some pictures, videos, and I'll kind of talk through some of the things I like and don't like once I start running this camera. So I had a work weekend where I was laying some sod 
and just doing some general yard work. So you can see some daytime pictures and videos here. As you can see, the quality is pretty solid. There's some different levels of shadow and sun that you can see here. I was pretty happy overall with how the videos turned out and the sound you can hear everything on. And the pickup range is pretty solid. I could tell at nighttime when I opened that door, as soon as I opened it, you could see the infrareds turn on. So I knew it was immediately picking us up as soon as we opened it. So here's some nighttime video and footage and you can see the quality is pretty solid. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this camera. Pick one up at Amazon in the description below.